Hi everyone, it's Erwin Martinsen here and welcome to this Adobe Lightroom video. This is a beautiful sunset by the coast of the Oslofjord in Norway and uh, I'm gonna show you how I got this result you see here in this frame. So in the next picture you will see the undeveloped image which is a much more duller and uh, the image lacks contrast, color and tones. So this is the original raw file I shot in the camera and a raw file needs to be devel developed in uh, Adobe Lightroom and uh, in the old days of film we could go and buy different film types with different uh, color, contrast and tones and we have all the old film types in the one raw file now and we have to develop it so let's get started so I'm gonna start uh, with the contrast here just add some contrast carefully we can go up to 19 I also want to lift the shadows we have a lot of shadows shadow areas here. I want to lift it a little bit up so we get more details here. I think we can end up there and then we go for the clarity. The clarity sharpens the medium tones in the, the image and it's a very good tool. Now it's more crispy and I want to add some vibrance. The vibrance is a very smart tool for adding uh, saturation, but in a much smarter way than the saturation slider itself. So we'll drag it up to 45. So the vi vibrance, it boosts up colors that are not so present in the image. And the saturation takes all the colors and pump it up. Now we are starting to look at uh, something like the old Fujichrome Velvia slide films with good color saturations. So already now we have a much better picture than the original raw file from the camera. So let's continue downwards and here it comes to the HSL. It's U saturation and luminance and in this image I have orange tones I have blue tones and I want to just give them a little bit extra on the saturation for the orange the orange color will be saturated a little bit up maybe around there not too much so you have to be careful and I want to add a little bit blue. I have the blue tones here and here. And then we have the good uh, color contrast between the orange and the blue. So we have blue tones here. Let's increase the blue tones a little bit up. We can go up to 10, I think, not more. You see, if I do too much, it's too much. If I do too, too little, it looks strange. So just want to add a little bit up here. And then we go down here to the details and then I will sharpen the image. I will drag the sharpening amount up to 58. The radius up to 1.1. One. And I want to use the masking tool the masking tool is very effective for marking the areas where you don't need the sharpening. So I press the option button on the keyboard and press the slider and drag it. And as I drag it, you can see the dark fields. And the dark fields are areas where the image will not be sharpened. You don't need sharpening on the sky and on the blank surfaces. 
So 40 is okay. Already now we have a very good image and uh, I shot this picture when the waves were on the outgoing phase. Then I get this uh, stream of water between the rocks. And down here we have the lens corrections. I want to enable the profile correction. You see when I do that the horizon will be a little bit more straight and that's because I used a 18 millimeter wide angle lens on this image. So I want to enable that and I also want to remove chromatic aberration with this button and chromatic aberrations are color lines between the for example the horizon and the sky. It can be red, green, yellow color lines or green. So just click that button and the problem is solved. So here now, uh, but uh, now I see this image has a little bit more potential. I want to have some more contrast uh, between uh, the rocks and the white water. And then I can use the brush. I can go up here, use the brush tool and click on that. And I want to lighten up the the white parts here in the water. So I can increase the exposure a little bit on the brush. And I, here you can see the, the brush size. I can adjust the size by scrolling on the mouse. So I think this size is okay now. Then I can start to paint. You see the brush is like, a, like the um, ones the painters are using. I can do the same here. I can paint my image. So I just increase the exposure. You can see 0 0.25 here. And we can start to light up the white here. Then you see we get a better contrast between the rocks and the white water. I think this is it. Now we can see I can adjust after. This is too much of a course and this is too much the other way. So just give it a little bit extra so we get a, um, a better image. I think this is okay. And we can close this brush tool. I close it. And now you can see I have a better image and it's ready for use for whatever that is. If it's a book, a magazine, article or on the internet. Let's see it in full size. And I get the full size by pressing the F button on the keyboard. Not so bad. I like it. And I press the F button again. And I go back to the normal size. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will be alerted when there are some good news coming. Whether it's uh, new instruction videos, free online training or more news about our photo tours and workshops in Panama or Norway. So see you in another video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you. Bye.